America, the land of the free because of the brave. It was founded by men who had a firm reliance in the protection of divine providence. Men who quoted the Bible three times more than any other source and understood the importance of being one nation under God. The United States was founded upon biblical principles and born out of a heart of prayer. This is our documented history. As our Supreme Court acknowledged in 1892, our Republic was based upon and embodied the teachings of the Redeemer of mankind. Speaking of Jesus Christ, America has been nourished over the generations by those who confidently led our country by our nation's motto, in God we trust. As citizens of this great land, we have been given the sacred privilege of voting for elected officials. Samuel Adams, the spark plug of American independence wrote, let each citizen remember at the moment he is offering his vote, he is executing one of the most solemn trusts in human society for which he is accountable to God and his country. Furthermore, John Jay, America's first Chief Justice stated, Providence has given to our people the choice of their rulers, and it is the duty as well as the privilege and interest of a Christian nation to select and prefer Christians for their rulers. It is our God-given responsibility as Americans to select a candidate whose life and integrity have been built up upon a biblical, moral, and constitutional foundation. Noah Webster, author of America's First Dictionary declared, let it be impressed on your mind that God commands you to choose for rulers just men who will rule in the fear of God. The preservation of a republic depends on the faithful discharge of this duty. Voting is a sacred, serious, and spiritual responsibility, yet so many Christians take it for granted. Out of 89 million evangelicals in America, 15 million are not registered to vote, and approximately 45 million don't vote, leaving only 31% actively engaged. For far too long have we neglected our God-given duty. For far too long have we remained silent and still. Evil will triumph if good men do nothing. It's time to rise up as a mighty host and make a difference. It's time that we engaged ourselves for the sake of our country before it's too late. It's time to take back America. And it starts with you. Don't forsake your sacred duty. This is a voter's call to action for all conservative Americans and American Christians.